All right, so in this one, we're doing uh, derivatives of periodic functions. Uh, we're going to fly through a bunch of these. You see, uh, you've got six sort of rules here, I guess. I'm going to try to get through um, through them pretty quickly. Uh, you'll get plenty of time to practice them and ask questions in class if you need to. Uh, let's take a look. Y equals sine x. Now, our rules pretty straightforward. If y equals sine x, y dash equals cos x. Uh, really that simple. Our next one here. If y equals cos x, just change colors here real quick. If y equals cos x, y dash equals negative sine x. Uh, that's pretty straightforward so far. Let's try another one. Uh, now we're going to move on to rule 3 here. All right. I'll just use. I'll just jump back and forth. Sorry, back and forth between y and f of x. They're the same thing. If f of x equals sine a x, uh, f dash x equals a uh, cos a x. Um, now, in terms of what that actually means, if we would have some numbers in there. That means that if f of x equals sine 5x, f dash x would equal 5 cos 5x. Pretty straightforward. Now we've got a similar question uh, here. f of x equals cos 9x. Now that means that f dash x is going to equal negative 9 sine 9x. So you just need to be careful here because when you find the derivative of sine you get cos but when you find the derivative of cos you get negative sine and you can see that happening here cos 9x equals uh, the derivative of cos 9x equals negative 9 sine 9x. Uh, moving on uh, now these last two rules uh, rule 5 and rule 6 it's probably where it starts getting interesting it says that if f of x equals sine of a function, then f dash x equals the derivative of that function cos that function. Um, it'll probably be easier if we look at it. So if y equals sine 3x squared, that means that y dash, the derivative, equals the derivative of whatever is in here, which is 6x. Now this is sine, so the derivative is going to be cos and then whatever's, whatever was originally in there, 3x squared. Might just do a couple of them so you can see them in action. So in this one we have f of x equals cos in brackets 2x squared plus x. So again we have another function here uh, that we're finding the cos of. That means that the derivative of that f dash x is going to be equal to the derivative of whatever's in there. In this case it's 4x don't forget the derivative of x is 1. And then that multiplied by uh, the derivative of cos is negative sine. Now this is going to be a bit strange. Be careful here. Times negative sine and then whatever was in those brackets, 2x squared plus x. Now that's a bit ugly, so just let's just neaten it up a bit. 4x plus 1 times negative sine 2x squared plus x. Let's just move that negative to the front. Negative 4x plus 1 sine 2x squared plus x. I'm just avoiding having that negative in there. Otherwise, it could look like 4x plus 1 minus sine 2x squared plus x. Now I've just put this one in here to uh, illustrate an important point. Uh, if y equals negative sine 3x to the 4 plus x squared, y dash is going to equal the derivative of whatever's in there, so that's 12x to the 3 plus 2x times the derivative of whatever this is. Now if the derivative of sine is cos, then the derivative of negative sine is negative cos. So negative cos 
Um, and then whatever's in those brackets, so 3x to the 4 plus x squared. Now again, I'm just going to neaten that up by bringing that negative out the front. Equals negative 12x cubed plus 2x times cos 3x to the 4 plus x squared. Alright, so there's some derivatives of periodic functions. Uh, make sure you're practicing a lot, a lot, a lot of them because you're going to make mistakes, uh, especially with the negatives and, and positives for sine and cosine. Um, practice, practice, practice.